Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are enjoying your Shabbat. So if you are new, I'm not Jewish or churchy or religious or anything like that. But I do keep covenant with Yehovah Elohim. And uh, the Shabbat is the Sabbath. And we just rest. And I don't do any work or anything in my house in this day. And uh, anyway, so... If you stay on this channel and you're new and this is just something that is not, you know, something that you're looking for and you just clicked on this, um, then I guess thanks for checking me out. Otherwise, welcome to this channel. I do uh, tell why I use the name of Yehovah Elohim on my readings. It could be found in the tarot. And there is a, um, there is a um, video down below. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties. Can I even speak? Uh, anyway, with my uh, camera there. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, the scripture is found in the tarot, and I've proven that, so I use it here on my readings. So anyway, if you didn't know that, you know it now. Some people know it, some people don't. Now you do. All right, guys, those of you who are returning back, uh, welcome back. I'm tired. <laughs> It is a rest day. I've, I've done a couple of videos today, but I'm just, uh, it's just like one of those days I'm tired, but I am kind of bored. My days seem like they're the same, <laughs> so I just get on here and chit-chat with you all. So let's just pull some cards and see what's going on for the group of people who have uh, clicked up on this video. Yehovah, I appreciate you and thank you for this day. I thank you for Yeshua, and I thank you for victory, and I thank you that you have gone before us, and you prepared the way, you made every quick place straight. You hope a rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy, and command them to go straight down to the pit of hell where they belong. You hope a rebuke you. You hope, what are you going to bring out here? I shuffled earlier, um, just a little while ago, and I seen the emperor come out a couple of different times, and... Um, People dealing with their boss. The word boss came out in one of my readings today. So we have the lover's card coming out here. And this is about a decision. This is the V and or the W uh, in the Hebraic living language. Um, choices are here. Um, I want to say that I've seen the lover's card in one of my readings today as well. So there are love situations going on. There's also pregnancy situations that's taking place. Somebody's got a decision to make about somebody who's supposed to be in somebody's life or should have been in somebody's life. If that's past energy, then you're dealing with some type of decision that was made around a connection or an intimate relationship here. Um, we have the strength card coming up here, and this is about having compassion. Some people are trying to deal with uh, having some type of compassion, maybe with your children as well. This uh, strength card, go back to the fifth house, goes over to children. Obviously, it's love and romance with the fifth house. And um, the third and the sixth house can be found here with the lover's card. Uh, we have the H here as well, and somebody's just trying to make a decision, and to, the, the H and the W, how? How do I do this? How do I make this decision? Or you already have sit there for a while trying to figure something out about communicating something um, because somebody needs some type of compassion within something that's taken place in some type of a connection. Somebody somebody has something, have, is out here. Um, whatever that is, whatever somebody has, that some, some, something's something's happened where somebody needs some kind of compassion this is passing from one space to the next so we do know that there's been death situations energetically physically emotionally spiritually what's this decision about show me the decision about the compassion what's the decision about please well I'm tired guys <laughs> I really am tired uh, somebody, okay, so the Nine of Swords came out earlier. The Queen of Swords came out last night on a reading that I did that was very profound. Very profound. Some of y'all got that. Uh, a lot of people watched that video. And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's been waiting a long time. Something's just been uh, uh, on somebody's mind in a very big, hard way. I mean, somebody's in their head, really bad, in their bed. Um, because of a judgment, because of going through some type of a love situation. If this is a divorcee, then it's a divorcee. If it's a witch, it's a freaking witch. Just put somebody else up in their head. Um, 
harvested something, something's physically in the ground here with the seven of pentacles, but this is waiting and waiting and working the ground, and my God, and I see it coming up, and somebody's really tired, and uh, needing strength with whatever this decision is. Uh, this is the law for some of you all with this queen of swords, or um, this queen of swords possibly did something where they're law worthy of something here. Some, some type of work situation for some of y'all has gone on. Somebody from your past, the Six of Cups is here. We've seen the Six of Cups also in one of my other readings. I want to take from this Hebraic deck here. Show me this Queen of Swords. Last night, the Queen of Swords in this little deck showed somebody's mask coming off. Okay, so uh, whatever that is, if somebody was investigated, they were investigated uh, because of children's situations and some type of love connection that was around a, a, a situation. The king and the queen of swords came out last night on that reading. The king of swords showed himself today. Um, I think it was my second reading. Uh, and the king and queen of cups was there last night in that reading. We had justice out there twice as well. So something is huge. Somebody's obviously done something, said something, put somebody up in their head. They've got migraines going on. They're, they've been crying. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who's got really long blonde hair. This person's got real long blonde hair. Or maybe at one time somebody did have blonde hair but got cut off. I'm not sure. Don't have to. But um, uh, the king of pentacles is here. Okay. Well, the air and the earth energy for a long time is really, I mean, this is air, 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 earth, earth is here. Okay, air is here as well. Um, and we got fire as well and some cups, but the, that energy has just been, my God, knocking, knocking, knocking heads in a very big way. If this is your boss and this is your boss. Um, the King of Pentacles is very giving and kind, but if he's if he's in the negative, he's stubborn, man. He's uh, full of witchcraft himself. Then this Queen of of uh, Swords is a witch in the negative, and so is the King of Pentacles. Like I said, if he's stubborn, he's a freaking nasty jerk. Okay, so we do have the Knight uh, that's always just got a charge. This is a rebellious card. This is pride and ego. Somebody's pride and ego has come down. Something very quick is here. So we have a king and a queen and a knight. Air. This knight, of, this, the truth is known about something here. The truth is known about something. It really is known about some type of situation that was hasty and fast and got somebody up in the freaking head. What's the seven of pentacles here for? Something about ownership of something. Whatever that means. Some type of ownership. There's the Queen of Pentacles. So we have a match energy here. So the Queen of Pentacles. That's work. That's eight pentacles on the seven. This, this Queen of Pentacles is also showing in this picture of holding on with all she's got. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to hang on to this. And there's the ram standing in front of her. And there's some, there is some type of stubbornness showing itself here in this reading. Somebody's need to make some, made a decision that caused some type of a fast type of a sharp energy and stubbornness within something. Well, there's the other woman. There, there is um, secrets. There is secrets, and they hadn't been talked about. Uh, maybe with not with some people. Some people have had some secrets. This is um, maybe on your job. The J and the B can be found here. The T is also found here with the high priestess and jet and the travel energies and all the rest. And somebody's done something where money was concerned, where the job was. Okay, and so somebody's going through a divorce, and they are. Somebody was a freaking player then for some of you all. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the strength, this is strength, but it's the nine of wands. This goes back to the wounded warrior, well, the two of cups. There, for a lot of people, it is known. Some people have just been playing around. Okay, it just keeps coming out. I don't really need to go any further. I got a bunch of cards over here. Okay, these are homemade decks here that I have, and so I'll just pick I'll let you hold up. So there's been global conflict, foreign policies, things like that. Well, we already know about that. As someone who has a large family has been involved. And we also have what came out in my other reading was a work family, okay, that was there in some type of situation. Uh, something was a setup. Yes, it was a setup. And there's going to be justice for something. Somebody did something on purpose. Your child is here as well. Well, stupid. 
somebody's child who's going to sit in a freaking jail cell or whatever the crap that's been about. This is an older child between the ages of 25 and 35. That person's worthy of jail, I guess. Don't care who it is. Okay, if somebody was set up in some type of way or the law set your child up or however that was working, if somebody's had a large family and why ever the crap that took place in the first place is cuckoo-ness, uh, they're, they're jail worthy of something that's happened here. It says, my soul followeth hard after thee and thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. That's right. And so somebody is going to um, go down to the lower parts of the earth. They're going to go sit in a freaking uh, jail cell for uh, setting somebody up. Jehovah says to let go right now. Well, he's going to force somebody to let go. He is. And somebody wouldn't, then I guess it cost them in the end. So there's work and police and an investigation. FBI is here. Something's been hair raising. I'm sure it was hair raising, especially if somebody died within the process of something here it's crazy uh there's a spiritual situation going on and uh something happened on a day that it snowed for some of you all and so whatever that is Jehovah brought me forth also into a large place and delivered me because he delighted in me and what comes around goes around so this is what come out i do want to take a card here on this um nine of swords yeah, that's the fool. The fool showed itself earlier. Something was foolish. Show me the nine of swords. Somebody's a, it's just a stupid fool. They're just a stupid fool. I don't care who they are or where they sit. They're a stupid fool. What they did to somebody. It's craziness. Somebody from your past. Somebody connect your children and your family is here. Or your or last from your past. Or somebody you went to school with. Or something like that. Maybe they work for the law enforcement. I don't know. But if they're not in the upright, they're a stupid fool. Show me this nine of swords. For some of you all, it was, it, it was a work family that was involved in some stupidness. Uh, the two of wands. Somebody plotted something, but it got somebody up in their head. There's justice. Well, there is going to be justice. There is. There is. There is. And th this, this, this is the debauchery card. You cannot appease this person. Don't care what they, what you try to do. Somebody just didn't care. If that's the way I move, oh baby God, I, that's the way I'm gonna move it because wow, it feels good to me. And yeah, and let's do this. Yeah, it sounds good. Let's set somebody up, okay? Because somebody's a cuckoo and a half. That's a crazy card, and there was a consequence to that. So seven of cups. This is somebody who's got really bad. Um, uh, habits, maybe even sexual habits for some of y'all. Somebody, somebody's a kook. Somebody's just a freaking kook and they're going to go to jail for what they did. They, they set somebody up on purpose because there's some, some stupid in their ever-loving freaking head. Uh, adultery. Well, there's adultery here. Okay, so somebody, somebody is involved in adultery. It keeps coming out here. And somebody has been trembling with indignation and they have been angry. Well, that stuff brings destruction is what the scripture says. People just don't pay off for you. It just don't. There's the boss and there's a cook here as well. Well, that keeps coming out as well. And the boss came out today as well. Well, there was a consequence to something that somebody did. And so you, you want to play that way, you're going to pay that way. Okay, so have fun sitting in your jail cell because this person's already seared somewhere because this is a person that's in debauchery. They will never be appeased. This person needs to be out of society for whatever they did. Until next time, shalom.